Today, I'll be discussing on how to install and configure Windows Server Update Service. So before you actually start this um, installation, you will need to make sure that you have configured your environment, your test or your lab environment, or if you are working in a production, um, directly in a production environment, you need to make sure that everything is uh, configured properly. So here I have my domain uh, controller, which is my primary domain controller. So I also have a secondary domain controller, which I'm not showing in this video. And here I have my Vesus server, which of course is um, joined to my domain controller. So if I go to CMD, so I now put the command prompt, and I, I, want, I want to try to ping this um, domain controller to see if I can access the server. So when I just type ping domain zero one, so here you can see I'm able to actually ping my domain controller. So you should make sure that, and again, you should also make sure that you have access to the internet because we are going to download download all our updates from the internet. So if you are, if this is probably your second uh, Wizu server, you can as well decide to download your update from the first um, server. And also, you should also make sure that some firewall ports are also open for you to have access to the internet. If not, your configuration will not work properly. So, and here I also have a workstation that is going to be downloading all these updates from the Vesus server. So, what we need to do right now is to actually install um, a future. Let's just add a role to this server which is going to install the Vesus um, server on it. So now go to just on the begin, before you begin, just click next. Here is going to be a role based or feature based installation. So click next. And here I'm installing it on this particular server. So we click next. So here we have the option to actually select what are the um, the roles we want to install? So I just I only want to install the Windows Server Update Service. So select it, and here it's going to add some additional features to it. Please always try and include this management, the all the the management tools and all these feature. If not, you will not be able to proceed, and this solution will not work properly. So just click Add Feature, and click Next. Here are the features. Just click next and accept all the default um, options click next as well here we're going to accept the um, wid connectivity and the Vesus service so don't deselect this just actually um, leave the default feature that was there that are selected by um, the server and click next here we're going to actually um, include where we want to save all our download and update. So right now I'm going to actually copy the file the 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 link to the folder and just paste it here. So here you can see that I've already created a different drive entirely where I, I actually create a folder. So I'm not using the C drive. So I also recommend you don't use a C drive to actually store the updates. So I just created this um, this drive from my computer management and here you can see I created a new folder on it. So I'm going to include that folder here and just click next. And under the web server role, click next. So just please leave the default role that we, that we are accepted in the installation in process. So don't uh, ask, um, exclude any role from this because if you exclude some roles, any role from this, you may have problem during the configuration of your Visus server. So just click next. And here I'm going to click install. So right now the installation has started and I will just, I'll be back when the installation completes. So after the installation um, complete, what we need to do is this, we receive a message which is called launch post installation task. So just click on the launch post installation task. You see it says, please wait while your server is configured. So we have to wait while this server is configured then close and then open the Vesus se um, server. So just um, wait for this to complete. So I'm going to come back again when this um, configuration completes. So here we can see that the configuration successfully completed. So what you need to do is to click close. So after clicking close, I will need to go to under my tools 
and here we have the windows server update so we need to click on the windows server update to actually complete the configuration so with the windows server update is being started and here we see we see windows server update service configuration with us so we need to configure some things before we can now start downloading the update or start syncing the update from microsoft website so on that before you begin just click next here you say I, I yes i would like to join no i don't want to join right now so just click next and here we have the option to actually sync synchronize from a microsoft update or we can as well synchronize from another win, uh, windows server update service so if you have installed a windows server and this is not your first server probably it's your second or third server you can as well decide to actually download the update from that server but this is my first server so i'm just going to synchronize directly from the website of microsoft so click next and here you will if you are using a, if your company is using a proxy you can as well configure your proxy server name and the port which sometimes the default is 80 but for and you can then put in your credentials but for now i'm not using any proxy so i'm going to click next so here we'll start we'll try to connect to the website of microsoft to actually see and um, to pre-configure the download so click start connecting so the connection will start so mind you the connection will take some time actually before we can choose our language and choose the product we want to actually start downloading from microsoft so i will stop this video and come back again when this um, connection has been completed so after the upstream um, configuration has been completed so we just need to click next and here we need to select the um, language which of course we want to download um, updates from so here we have the english language which is selected by default but if for example you have uh, computers which are installed in other language in your company or in your um, enterprise environment so you need to select like the other um, like for example you can select like korean or swedish or any other language and then click next and here we actually need to select the product of which we want to download the updates from so if you select all updates mind you it's going to take a lot of time for all the updates to be downloaded or the cd for everything to synchronized and download the updates so every time there are updates about this software it will take some time for the update to be downloaded so what i'm need, what i need to do right now is I, i'm going to select just I could only have um, servers 2019 and then Windows 10 um, which I'm using right now so I'm going to select look for server 2019 or let me just also select office 2016 2019 and office 365 and then I'm going to look for server 2000 just scroll down Windows 10 So what I did is um, I have selected here you can see I've selected Windows Server 2019 and also I also selected micro, uh, Windows 10 all the Windows 10 option and um, I also selected the Microsoft Defender Antivirus and Microsoft Edge and also um, Exchange Server because I'll be installing Exchange Server on this environment. Um, then we have to click Next. And here under the classification and uh, choose the classification of update we want to actually download and we need to just choose the critical update is good the definition update uh, let me just select the update as well and i don't want any other like uh, let me see um update tools i don't want that so just click well just check if which of the let me just select um for the future pack i'm going to select future pack as well and update roll up and then click next and here do you want to synchronize automatically or do you want to synchronize manually we can choose to synchronize automatically which our first synchronization is going to take place by let me say we can decide to choose a time as well but or uh, but now i want to synchronize manually so later i'm going to configure it to actually synchronize automatically probably like once or twice a day so click next so right now we can say okay i want to begin in initial synchronization which of course is going to take some time so just click next and then click finish 
so it's going to take some time for the synchronization to actually complete because um, a lot of updates needs to be downloaded from the website and from the internet or from the website of Microsoft so I will be back again when this update has been downloaded so we can see that the update has been uh, synchronized so it's going to take some time for this update to actually get to 100% um, so you can see the progress now is about 31% so all updates are being downloaded from the website of Microsoft so what we're going to do now in the next video we're going to configure the group policy settings for the Vezus for, for the Vezus server so that the clients can be able to actually download the updates and actually be the, and the Vezus can also detect the client um, machines so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to create a second computer I'm going to call it um, the part 2 of this video so please try and watch part 2 of, of this video which is actually the most important video um, of the of the configuration because without the configuration the client um, will not be able or the workstation will not be able will not be detected by the Resus server thank you very much for watching this video my name is Calvin Johnson please just click on the next video which is the part 2 of this video